Hi everyone, I am very, very happy to have with me our dear, dear student, Dr. Hemant. He's a proud Amazonian and he secured an awesome rank 124 in INICT November session. Heartiest congratulations, Hemant. Uh, you've Thank made you. us proud and I'm so happy and, you know, overwhelmed here as well as feeling very proud to, you know, share your strategy and to talk with you today. How do you feel about it? <laughs> nice, man. Surprise, but good. Surprise, but good. Great. So, Neely, uh, he has, uh, sorry, Hemant has been uh, our regular batch student. So, Hemant, I want to ask you, Bache, first of all, uh, tell me that when you were preparing for exams, did, were you, was it in your mind that you will crack the November INICT exam? I was actually trying to study for the NEET exam. You were trying to study for so NEET So I exam. thought I'll read once before any set and I was able to do that. That is wonderful. So Hemant, let us know your strategy, Beta. You started with the regular batch with us. Can you tell me how exactly were you studying? There are a lot of other students who are pursuing the same course and who will pursue the same course for the next year exam as well. So when you started, how exactly did you go about uh, in your strategy? Uh, I tried to complete the notes after the class is over. Ma. Okay. After each so class, you... I spent two days only for that and ended up with you. All right, great. So I would like you to elaborate a little here, Hemant. So after the class, you said you were spending two days. So in those two days, were you trying to memorize the entire notes or were you just going through a quick reading? Also, were you solving MCQs at the same time or not? First, I tried to read the entire notes for once. Man. Okay. And then I did uh, related MCQs. All Subject right. was so MCQ. Subject-wise MCQs. Great. And uh, so you did this for every class and you were very consistent with it. Is that right? I did it for every class. That's wonderful. Uh, and also, Hemant, I want to know from you, when you are attending the class, what is your mindset? Were you taking down your own notes? Uh, you know, uh, what was the mindset while you were there? Were you also trying to be, uh, you know, very attentive and trying to learn things within the class itself? Also tell me how important was conceptual part uh, in retaining the knowledge that you uh, that was given to you. I like making notes, ma'am. Yes. Uh, I try to write everything they're saying. Okay. Uh, I try to write everything they're trying to explain, even the words. It helps me to memorize easier next time when I read. All right. Okay. And I feel like classes are better than watching the recorded ones. That's true. That, that is absolutely true because, you know, you're not only physically there, but you're mentally present. You're trying to give answers. You're trying to write down even the examples, some clinical cases, and all that yes. helps in connecting the dots, right? It was easier to revise them man, because there was a huge difference between subjects which I watched live and the way I memorized them was different. Great. I understand that. Okay. And uh, Hemant, can you let me know that how, uh, was there a target in your mind when you were solving MCQs or you were just doing topic-wise MCQs? Uh, were you also doing a strength-weakness analysis at the same time? I mostly did subject-wise uh, questions, ma'am. Okay. I preferred 50 questions from a single subject than doing topic-wise questions because I didn't feel like I had time to do topic-wise questions. All right. Great. And, and I did uh, grant test. Okay. So I'll ask about grant test. Also, Hemant, I want to know from you, Bacha, that uh, when you say that you started with MCQs, did you start it right from day one itself, solving MCQs? Uh, yes, ma'am. Every day I did like 20 MCQs. That is wonderful. So if you all are listening to me, uh, this is what is the uh, you know, minimum requirement. You don't have to do too much. You don't have to go overboard. You don't have to give yourself targets of thousands of MCQs, right? He has a very simple strategy. He was attending the class, trying to make his own notes. He ensured that he was reading the notes again the following two days and also trying to solve MCQs right from day one. 
and his target was not to do thousands. He was just ensuring that he is doing 20 MCQs every day. And I must, must appreciate, Heyman, that this consistency that you have shown from day one, I think, has been the reason that you are able to come out with flying colors. Yes, I'm sure a lot of hard work has gone into it. A lot of dedication has gone into this. So now I really want to ask you, Heyman, what keeps you or what kept you going? Um... I try to not lose my interest, ma'am. Okay. So I didn't try to overdo anything. Um, Very nice. I tried, I will do minimum six hours a day. But if I had interest, I added more hours to go. Wonderful. So how many hours were you putting close to the exam, hey month? Um, eight, 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 eight and a half hours, ma'am. Wonderful. So absolutely. Another very important thing that Hemant has highlighted, you know, that it doesn't have to be 15, 16 hours of study. Rather than counting hours, make the hours count. Yes, do effective study. So he started with six hours and, you know, that was his target. I think very, very uh, uh, good, Hemant. I am uh, feeling absolutely, you know, enlightened by listening to you that students uh, with simple strategies, with no big, big things in their mind, but with simple targets. And they, if they do those targets every single day, they achieve a big goal, right? So hats off to you, Hemant. It is absolutely amazing, right? The kind of consistency mm -hmm. that you have shown. Uh, now you were talking about grand test, Hemant. So when did you, Bacha, start taking the grand test? Um, I've, like... When I did from three subjects onwards, uh, my okay. friend said you can give grand test. Then I started giving grand test every 15 days a month. All right. And were you also spending time on the analysis of the grand test? In the initial phase, I had time and I spent half a day on studying okay. what I did wrong. Okay. And uh, later, were you also... Yes. And later okay. on, I didn't got time, but I still did grand test. Right. Wonderful. So, you know, after he finished three subjects with us in the regular course, he started giving the grand test. And uh, Hemant, can you let us know what was the number of correct questions in the grand test that you started with? And what was the final number of correct questions that you reached, Bacha? <laughs> I never crossed 120 correct answers, man, out of 200. Okay. So, that was your but highest. Initially, I got 70, 80. So, so nice. So you didn't get disheartened with that, right? And that is the third very, very important that this wonderful boy has to give out to all of you, right? Even if you are getting a little less number of correct, he started with 70, but he wasn't disheartened. He didn't take it as something which, you know, which will stop him. He kept being consistent uh, in giving the grand test. He did reach 120, but I think, Heyman, you have actually peaked at the right time. Don't you think so? I think you have peaked yeah. with the right number of correct questions in the right exam. Isn't that so? Uh, that's why I'm very surprised. It was very coincidental. So it is, it's absolutely wonderful, Heyman. And, uh, you know, um, uh, I'm very glad that I'm hearing some uh, important things in your message. Also, Heyman, can you tell me, Bache, uh, how did you plan your revision? Did you do a revision of some subjects? Were you able to do that? Uh, yes, ma'am. I For revision, I was DVT mostly, ma'am. Okay. Because some of the subjects I felt DVT almost covered everything teased in the class. Right. And right. the first time I saw them, I was really surprised. Because okay. I used DVT before CBT, ma'am. All right. That's the first time I know about DVT. And then before mm -hmm. the exam, 10 days before, I used mostly DVT. Great. So wonderful. Also, Heyman, since you mentioned about the CBT beta, did you go to the exam center to give the CBT? Uh, yes, ma'am. And do you think that experience helped you? Because in the final exam, they suddenly came up with two slots. Yes, what session were you in, in the exam, morning or evening? Morning. Morning. So can you now tell me, Hemant, that uh, do you think going to the computer center and giving the exam actually helped you mentally prepare for the main exam? Uh, yes, ma'am, because we, I, I have to wake up early and everything helped me actually giving the CBT. Yes. Okay. 
Great. And uh, now, Hemant, can you tell us something about the INI set paper as well? So you told me that, you know, uh, uh, yours was the morning session. How many questions do you did you attempt? And can you give me some weightage on subjects or what I what do you think are must do things for INI set exam? I attempted 91 percent, ma'am. It showed after the exam. OK. And um, I felt morning session is I I felt half of the paper was pharmacology in some way or other. Okay. So and yes, were, I felt uh, minimum six questions. Yes, ma'am. I felt minimum six to seven questions on HIV. Okay. All right. And I felt biochemistry was given in good amount. Okay. That's for that. All right. And hey, month uh, when you were uh, attempting the questions, you know, uh, did you think that your dam's notes helped you in terms of what was being asked? Uh, did you come across unusual things, vague things in the exam? The classes which I uh, listen live, I really felt like I, it, they are from the notes, especially biochemistry, uh, psychiatry, etc. Great. And remaining questions, uh, I I didn't know much from them. Okay, great. So, uh, what are what is the plan now, Hemant? Uh, what do you plan to do in the INICT uh, counseling? Do you intend to uh, take a seat, and what branch do you want to pursue? <laughs> I'm still thinking about it, ma'am. I have two subjects. In but you must must take part in the counseling definitely, Hemant, and see the opportunities that are coming your way. Also, do you plan to give NEET PG now or no plans? Uh, no plans. No plans? Okay, <laughs> great. Then too, you must think about the counseling definitely. But what what any any special interest that you have? Uh... And medical branches, mostly. Medical branches. Great. I'm sure you'll be able to do superlatively in whatever branch you do. You seem to be a very, very diligent boy. Uh, also, Hemant, now as uh, we come towards the end, I want to ask you, uh, if you had to give three tips to your colleagues about the INICT exam, what would they be? What would you tell them to do? Um, second year subjects are very important. Okay. And before the exam, doing revision videos is very, like, they, you can see a lot in less time. Okay. And try to do MCQs every day. Great. So I think absolutely wise, wise piece of advice. So, you know, uh, for example, you yourself, uh, you know, did only DVT uh, in the last 10 days, yes? And that really helped in rapid revision. Yes, Yes, so it's very important that close to the exam, you accelerate your revision process, uh, you know, uh, that way you will be able to do multiple revisions as well. Uh, he also talked about being very consistent with solving at least some MCQs every day. And what was the, oh, oh, and the third advice was that the second year subjects are very important for INI set. Uh, that's great. And now, Heyman, do you want to say something motivating? Uh, something that you want to tell your colleagues when they feel not so good about their GT scores or not so uh, good about the number of hours they are giving to their study? I think it's not how much they do in one day, but it's how consistently they do it. Right. Um, so even if your target is six hours, but if you do it consistently, uh, things can happen. That's wonderful. So, uh, wish you all the very best, hey month, and uh, thank you for making dams a part of your journey. You've made us all proud. Heartiest congratulations to your parents as well. Please give my regards to them, and uh, I wish you a very, very bright future ahead, hey month. God bless you, bache. Thank you. Thank you, beta. Take care.